Hey guys, welcome to another WoW video and I've got a pet video for you. Uh, multiple pets. I I was going to do it singly and then I thought about it and I'm like, why? You guys are probably going after all of them if you're going after one, so why not put it all in one video? So we are going to cover all four of these pets. Uh, I will be doing that first one last because that is your toughest one you're going to go after. However, materials are easy. The other three are trash items and all these trash items were easy. Even the ones that were reported to be rare, I got right away and I am not lucky when it comes to WoW. So to me, that means they weren't rare to begin with. Biggest thing I would say, even although I didn't do it, is um, to disable your cell junk. Um, I never disable my cell junk, and I'll show you why. Uh, I'll show you right here in a little clip here. So as you can see, I uh, accidentally sold some items right here. And all, all you do, actually, I didn't even really accidentally. I knew Everybody when I clicked the vendor, emotional. it would auto sell. And all you got to do is just buy them back. Yeah, I that is why I never disable. But if you're worried, you know, if a disconnect happens, you would lose it. You have to buy them back before, you know, you exit game. So if you're, you know, that type of person that easily forgets, then for sure disable your sell junk and yeah better to be safe than sorry so with that said let's start so we're gonna start with my favorite one uh, my favorite one is the ruby bobble worm uh, i think that one looks the best out of all four of them and i was super happy that it was my favorite one is one of the trash item ones so so yeah, I, I kind of luck out with this because the the flawless, which is the more expensive one to get, is actually, I like all the other three more than the flawless. So definitely lucked out in that one. I, I think it's because it's yellow and I'm not a big fan of yellow. I do like purple, but we have a full-blown purple one in that list as you can see so anyway let's get to it okay so the first item you're gonna need is ground gear this is an item that drops off memoron in alder so really easy just go do the raid and kill the boss there your next item is robble's wobbly staff best way to farm it is firelands the trash items but you can also farm it from the dungeons as well in Kata. If you're going to farm it through the Firelands method, don't kill any bosses. That way you can reset trash. And then we have the very unlucky rock. I've got some footage on this one. This one, there's some specifics too. So on my druid, I do everything on my druid. So I had already looted this item back in BFA which means you can't loot it again. If you have looted it before, then you won't get it. The best way to know if you have this item is it only drops out of Lucky Horus Lucky Chest. It's in Nazmir and it's part of the Treasures of Nazmir achievement. So check your character, see if you've done that portion of the achievement. If you have, hop onto a different character that hasn't. And uh, yeah, I used my mage to get this one because like I said, my druid does everything. So yeah, I already had that achievement knocked out. It is a 100% drop rate, so no RNG needed here. So once you get to Nazmir, you are gonna head to the top right of the map. You'll see Nezwatha. Uh, if you don't have your map opened up, I'm showing you right now. And your coordinates is 7736. At this point, uh, you can go buy your item. So, of course, if you plan on doing all three, you can just get all your materials and then 
buy all three together. I did it separately because my original intention was to do these videos separately. So I did do them separately and uh, and since these are going to be divided up in the video anyway, I'm just going to show you right now. Your vendor will be an Oribos. You are heading to the Hall of Curiosity, which will be the bottom right section of your map. And the vendor's name is Keeper Tahalt. And this is our cute little ruby bubble worm. I love this one. This is my all-time favorite out of all four. Looks so pretty. Okay, continuing in order of which one I like the best. Uh, my second favorite is the topaz bubble worm. Uh, I love my purple. So yeah, I think the only reason the other one made the favorite is because it's silver. There's only one thing I love more than purple and that's silver. Okay, so topaz is another fairly easy one. First item's gonna be rotting bear carcass. You can get these out of the old Hillsbred foothills dungeon and all you're going to do is just kill the vicious gray bears in the area and they are what drops it. Next item is the stoppable force. Uh, this is another dungeon item. So you'll just farm burning crusade dungeons and uh, the trash drops it. A suggested one is Sethic Halls. There is a lot of trash in there. And the third item is Dark Iron Baby Booties. You do need to go into Black Rock for the uh, booties. I, I read that this was rare and unless I got extremely lucky, uh, they didn't seem too rare. You, I've kept it in the footage here that you can see that I looted two in my one run of it. So uh, I don't know if I should consider myself lucky enough to loot the one, let alone the two, but uh, didn't seem as rare as people were saying it was. So to get to the area you need for this, you're gonna enter the dungeon uh, go to the mole machine that's at the entrance here, and you're going to select the domicile option. And then just follow the path you see me directing you right now. And you will see a room that has a bunch of coffers in it. Uh, that is where you're gonna loot all your items, but you do need to do a little bit of work before that. You're gonna need to go kill all the dwarves you can kill, basically. Uh, it's, depending on your drop chances and stuff, you may need the full dungeon. Um, I, I didn't need the full dungeon, but I felt like I needed half of it by the time I got enough. Yeah, I did go kind of all over the place for for these keys and you're gonna need a total of 12. I guess in a sense you don't totally need all 12. You you don't need uh like if you open up every box then another special box occurs and you don't need that to get it. It's all the the other ones. So if you do one run and you only get like 10 keys you could just go open your 10 boxes, hope for the best, and then reset the run and redo it. So uh, not a big deal if you don't have all 12. And like I said, I got two of these. So I'm currently, uh, I put one of them on the auction house. I thought about keeping them to maybe get a second one of these pets, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe later I'll consider getting more than one. At the moment, one of each is good enough for me. So yeah, uh, but, but yeah, so that is how you get the Dark Iron Baby Booties. And once you're done that, of course, you can go back to Oribos, hand in, get your Topaz a Bubble Worm, and uh, yeah, and be done with that one. So with that said, comes the next one. So our next 
bobble worm is the turquoise bobble worm. Okay, so for the turquoise bobble worm, the rabbit's foot, basically what you're going to do is if you're if you're making an alliance character, you want to make a level 1 human. If you're making a horde character, you want to make a level 1 tauren. Your alliance character will start in Elwyn Forest and you're going to kill black rock wargs for your rabbit's foot. Your horde character will start in Mulgore and you're going to kill prairie wolves for the rabbit's foot. And just for some extra insight for those people that are like, eh, I'll just go on my max level character and kill those things. The reason you need the level one is because the item doesn't drop for a max level character. You will be level one, so you're going to have no money. So you got two options. Either you can send a very, very little money over to your level one, because I imagine you'll delete it after. And that will allow you to actually mail the item to your character. Or you just got to grind out like 30 copper. You need that to mail the item. So all in all, the process isn't long and it's really easy. Your next item is the large slimy bone. And you can get that from the Wailing Caverns. And it drops off of the evolving ectoplasm. The third item requires a rogue. So if you don't have a rogue, maybe find a rogue friend that's willing to do this for you. Uh, if any of you guys are on my server or you're a guildie watching this video, let me know and I will get my rogue to get this item for you. Uh, but other than that, you would have to buy it. I honestly have not seen many of these rogue items on there. As a rogue, it's really easy though. Pickpocket. That is your ability you're using here. Your rogue doesn't even have to be level 60. It can be a level 24 rogue. If you're alliance, you can go to Elwyn Forest and pickpocket the bandits. If you're horde, you can go to Tearsfall Glades and pickpocket the humans. The horde option seems to have a lower drop chance though, so I would actually suggest maybe getting this pet on an alliance character. And uh, yeah, the bandit, no joke, and you're seeing it, this is unedited footage here, but no joke, first bandit I pickpocketed had it. So yeah, I would say that qualifies as a common drop because I, I am not lucky when it comes to WoW. The game knows I'm going to play no matter what, so I get the worst drop chances because it knows I'm a sucker for punishment. So I would say that the bandits are definitely a good option. And of course, once you're done this, you can go purchase your turquoise, a bobble worm, and, uh, and then that knocks out the three easy ones. These ones uh, take no time to get. Uh, it was definitely an easy task to get these three bobble worms. Now, where the struggle is, is our fourth one. So moving on to the Flawless Amethyst. Once you're done your trash ones, this is probably the next one you're going to want to go after. So this one will cost you 10,000 polished pet charms, which is why this may be your grind out of all four. Uh, this guy's definitely going to take longer. I was actually waiting for the day that they would put in a pet where people can sink their currency into because they did it with money, right? The Bruto was, I felt, was more for people who had so much gold on them. It was like a way for you to spend all your gold, right? And, uh, and I feel that way with this pet. This pet was definitely made for pet collectors that had well over 10,000 pet charms before this patch even came out or even this expansion, right? So, um, so yeah, definitely good for those guys. And those are going to be your sellers on the auction house, honestly. And this sucker, while he does sell on the auction house, 
you're going to want to just get the pet charms. He's not going to be cheap. It has been reported that he's been on the auction house for 250k. Uh, that is definitely not my server that that would be. And that is crazy low as far as I'm concerned. I would not bank on you find flawless for that cheap. 250k is like nothing for gold nowadays. Most people have way more money than 250k. This sucker on my server anyway, he goes for a mil. I, I've never seen him for less than a mil, and I've actually seen him a little over a mil. I saw him once for a mil, and once for 1.2 mil. So, and I've only really spotted him twice. So really depends on your server, the market for the auction house. And with that said, I would just like to say that you can buy all these pets. Like, if you don't want to farm these items, you don't have to. Uh, but it would save you a lot of money if you're a person that doesn't care about your gold amount and you just, you know, get gold, spend it, get gold, spend it. Then, by all means, you can buy it. The trash item ones are, they range from anywhere from 60k to 100k to buy the pet. And... Then, of course, Flawless is usually around the one mil. And once again, it depends on your server. So who knows? Maybe you can get a trash pet for like 50k. So that is a bit of a grind. But pet charms are super easy. I've been saying since pretty much the beginning of Shadowlands and even in BFA that if you focus your mission boards, there is always pet charms on there. It is how I collect all mine, and I I spend so many pet charms all the time, and I always seem to have a decent collection of it. Basically, since I started focusing family exorcist and achievements similar to that, uh, I went from averaging like a thousand pet charms to having pretty much no less than I would say four or five thousand. So yeah, when you don't spend it, I, I do spend it quite a lot. But then I just rebuild it again and then I spend and rebuild. Like it's so much easier than you're probably thinking right now. Uh, 10,000 seems like a lot, but it really isn't that much. Yeah, you can get 10,000 polished pet charms pretty easily. So focus BFA and Shadowlands content, more or less. Mission boards, do your pet battle world quests in both areas. Uh, they typically average three or four per expansion, so it's going to take you no time to finish that. And then, of course, work on some family achievements. I actually have some videos for you guys. If you need some help, they're on this channel. And that will get you a ton of charms. That would be my biggest advice to you guys for pet charms. And that basically concludes it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy your new pets. Thanks everyone for watching. An extra big thanks to the members of the channel. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.